In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to create an image like this one, as you can tell. Um, now, this was originally a Photoshop tutorial. I'll include a link in the description to the original Photoshop tutorial. Now, go ahead and open up a new layer and you're going to want to you can use your own background but um, I'm going to use the background they provided in the tutorial which and I will um, provide a link to it go ahead just paste that as your background and make a new layer and go ahead and rename the layer light then on this layer get your paintbrush tool make sure your foreground color is on white and get a fairly fuzzy brush um, and then in the lower left hand corner or really wherever you want um, that's just where I'm going to paint mine um, use fuzzy brush and just paint something like that then set that layer mode onto overlay now duplicate this layer as many times as you need to so that it will stand out kind of so that it looks like this um, I only duplicated it two times so I have in total three light layers now make a new layer and rename it lines now this part it would really help if you had a drawing tablet um, but if you don't, which is fine, you can use your mouse. Just do, you don't want to do, you're going to want to use fairly, do fairly quick strokes. Um, but another solution is the pass tool. Just draw several paths and stroke them with a line width of three. And that will be a neater, very, but that's very time consuming. So, but it really helps if you have a drawing tablet. So if you do. Um, go ahead and get the brush three like I'd recommend using the circle three brush and set your foreground color as white and just kind of draw line strokes wherever you really want them Then after you're done with the white strokes, go ahead and get a complementary color. In this case, I'm going to use yellow. And draw a few more lines. Now once you're done, this is optional but you can get your eraser tool and put it and get a fuzzy brush and just kind of erase the ends of um, the line so that kind of fades out into the light. Now you're going to want to create another new layer and name this new layer Scribbles. Again, this would really help if you had a tablet, a drawing tablet. But if you don't, again, you can use the mouse. So, for this, you're just really going to want to draw scribbles on. Set your brush onto circle one and draw, well, what the layer name is scribbles. Just draw scribbles around your. Uh, lines and again you can kind of erase stuff around the light source now after that you're going to want to create another new layer and name it dots now all you're going to want to do is just kind of make several small dots or specks, whatever. And after you're done with that, you can, again, just kind of erase.
Now you're going to want to duplicate the lines layer and go to, on the duplicated layer, go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and give it a blur of 7, around 7. And as you can tell, that gives it a kind of glow. Now if you want to, you can set this onto overlay. Or you can just leave on normal. I'm just going to kind of adjust the opacity so it doesn't glow too much. Then you're going to want to go on the original lines layer, go to filters, light and shadow, drop shadow. Um, it doesn't matter what you set for the X and Y values, but for the blur radius, put about 10 and color black and opacity. 100 and uncheck allow resizing and then click OK. Now you're just going to want to kind of move your drop shadow. Really you can just move it wherever you want. Um, we're just adding some depth to the lines. I'm just going to move them over here. OK. Now after you're done with that um, if you want, you can move the drop shadow layer um, underneath two of the light copies or the light layers. And now you're going to add text. Now this part really, the effect is pretty much done. Now all we're doing is adding some text to go along with the image. And this is totally optional, this part. And now I have downloaded a font, and I will provide a link in the description if I can find the link that I downloaded this font off of. And I'm simply going to type in white font, energy.